everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I feel very led to do this video. And the video is titled, Why I Can't Say That I'll Never Be Debt Free Again. Let's get started. There are four reasons why I don't feel that I can say our family will never be de have any debt at all or that any reasons why we for sure will remain debt free. And you're probably saying, well, great, Don, what's the purpose of your channel? I thought your goal is to be debt-free and pay off your, your car loan and to never have debt again. Yes, that is my goal. I definitely want that. I've heard several people say, I'll never go into debt again. And I 100% I support that, and I agree with it. I think for anyone that wants to have no mortgage debt, no consumer debt, no medical debt, car loan debt, any debt, I think if we can be debt free, have a good have good sinking funds, have good investments, good savings and be prepared for everything, I feel that that is the very best way to live 100%. But why can't I say I'll never be debt free? These are the four reasons. Number 1, nobody knows medical what could happen. We could prepare, we could have health insurance. But health insurance does not cover everything. So if we have some type of medical issue that insurance doesn't cover and we don't have enough in our sinking funds and savings, something could happen and you may have medical debt. And sometimes doctors and dentists, they don't allow you to pay them out. They want their money up front before doing, doing procedures. So that's number one reason. Number two. We never know with what would happen with our car if we needed a new car because, say, an accident, and that's happened before, and we don't have enough in our sinking fund and what insurance would give us on this car to buy a decent used car, we may have to go in debt for one. That's number two. Number three, job loss. Jobs are not promised. A lot of people get upset if they lose their job, but we don't know if you lose a job when you may get another one to make up the difference where you may have to go in debt for something or really cut back on a lot of things and life may get uncomfortable. You may go in debt because you're not saving, because you're not making enough, which makes you go in debt when emergencies happen. And number four, if some things happen with your home. I live in an older home with older plumbing. One never knows and foundations in Texas are not the best. So with those four reasons, I cannot say I'll never be in debt again. My goal, however, is once we pay off this car to never be in debt again. I'm going to do my very best to make sure I treat savings like a bill, to make sure to have all my sinking funds in place, and to live below my means to the best of our family's ability to ensure that I'm protecting us and doing the best that I can. But sometimes Murphy happens to the best of families that prepare, and I have seen it happen. The reason I'm doing this video is I feel amongst these people that are the debt-free channels that are really striving for financial independence, I feel that so much pressure is put on people and nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. So all we can do is prepare and to plan for the best and the worst of circumstances and just do the very best we can with the resources God gives us and to reallocate our budget every month and just always look for ways to improve. I really felt led to do this video because I don't want pressure put on myself or my family. I don't want pressure put on you and your family. And I just think that we just need to keep striving to be better and there's always new things to learn and new ways of doing things to improve our life. Thanks for staying with me. I'd love to hear your comments on this below. I love you a lot. Bye-bye.